Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. South Dakota DCI is investigating an officer involved shooting in Rapid City. The incident started around 4 o'clock Tuesday morning when an officer tried to pull over a car. The driver refused to stop and a chase followed. When the driver got to a spot where they were blocked, the 31-year-old woman started driving towards the officer who shot at the vehicle several times. The woman was hospitalized in critical condition. No officers were hurt. Authorities are still looking for a passenger who jumped out of the car and ran. Authorities are also investigating a serious crash near Reptile Gardens. South Dakota Highway Patrol posted this video of the scene to its Facebook page. In it, you can see one car off of the road and another with heavy front end damage. Officials say it happened between the Reptile Gardens and Bear Country. We don't know how many people were hurt or the extent of injuries. Stay with Kelloland News on air and online for updates as they become available. And officials in northwest Iowa are sending a reminder to drivers after a crash in Sioux County. The Sioux County Sheriff's Office posted this video to its Facebook page. In it, you can see a deputy has a car pulled over. As traffic goes around the traffic stop, a pickup strikes a car in the opposite lane and no one was hurt. Authorities say to slow down as you move over. Rapid City Police are asking for the public's help in finding a missing girl. Officials say the 11-year-old was last seen in the 600 block of Disc Drive around 8.45 last night. She was wearing a black camouflage sweater and gray basketball shorts. If you have any information on where she may be, you are asked to call police. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Carstens for a check of this morning's weather. Looking like a cool and calm day today, Brian. Yes, a calm day. That's a good thing in the weather. A little sunshine to start, but then the clouds are kind of coming back in for some of us today. As we look at those hourly temperatures headed through the afternoon, I think most folks will be in the middle to upper 60s for an afternoon high. Rain chances look to stay well to our south here. And then as we look toward tonight, again, another cool night. Lows mainly in the upper 40s to near 50 in the southeast. And then tomorrow, a few degrees warmer. That's fine. And Low to mid 70s. That may be about the warmest, though, for a while as rain chances could come back this weekend. And we'll talk about that all ahead in just a few minutes. Thank you, Brian. Visitors at the Children's Museum in Brookings are getting the chance to learn more about dinosaurs today. That's because it's Dinosaur Day, excuse me. <clears throat> it started as a social media event but is now in person. Visitors say they are excited for the chance to dive deep into the topic of prehistoric reptiles. Well, so then you can like focus on one thing at that day and not get all like crazy focusing on like too many things at a time. Dinosaur Day will continue will include fossil digging, art projects, story times, and of course visits to the life-sized Mama T-Rex and Max. Midwest Honor Flight Mission 10 is heading to Washington, D.C. today. Kella Land's Dan Santella is joining the veterans on their trip to the nation's capital. Here are some images and video that Dan has posted onto Twitter. You can follow along with the veteran's experiences on his social media. Then starting tomorrow, he will give you an in-depth look at Mission 10 and introduce you to veterans from the Korean and Vietnam Wars. With rising inflation, more and more families are struggling to put food on the table. That's just one of the reasons the Sioux Falls School District is offering free lunches this summer. We'll take a closer look at the program, the locations, and when the meals are available on tonight on Kelloland News. And if your commute takes you along North Minnesota Avenue this morning, you may want to find a different route. The outside southbound lane will be closed just south of 3rd Street. Crews will, crews will be capping gas lines. Work is expected to be done by the end of the day. Storms over the holiday weekend brought damage to parts of eastern Kelloland and Sioux Falls. Down trees and other debris were thrown across neighborhoods throughout the city. On Tuesday, crews with Sioux Falls Parks and Public Works Departments were out cleaning up that damage. In one area, the Forestry and Streets team were able to save a couple of baby owls. They were able to place the owls in another tree so they wouldn't be hurt by the equipment. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right, weather today, well, high pressure still around, and that means, for the most part, cooler than normal weather, and also, for the most part here, uh, temperatures, well, at least conditions out there dry, although these clouds still will be billowing up today. Tomorrow, we have uh, a reinforcing shot of some wind out of the northwest. 
really not much to speak about there. But uh, into the start of the weekend, Friday, probably late in the day already, there could be some rain chances building into the Black Hills of western South Dakota. And then you're going to see more of that into Saturday morning. The southern third of South Dakota looks to be a little more likely on that rain chance. And then we'll continue to watch into uh, Saturday night, Sunday, see if any more of this returns. It, it does look wet at times. If I were to pick the wettest day, I would say Saturday. Then Sunday, if we can carve out a break, we might be looking at more rain coming in from western South Dakota. Sunday night into Monday. So already the week, the weekend rain, you can see that strip there in yellow. That indicates over an inch possible. So it's not just a little shower either. This is probably enough that's going to keep things a little muddy. And uh, quite the difference from last June and how that stacked up. 70 degrees are high today in Phillip. 69 Yankton. The extended forecast, the warmest days are going to be Thursday, Friday in Sioux Falls. And then we'll see how this weekend uh, affects our temperature forecast. Obviously, if we end up with more rain on Saturday, we may end up dropping those numbers. Just a little heads up there. Those are primarily, though, in the 50s with more clouds around. Aberdeen, there are chances of rain, too, but not as high as Sioux Falls. The bullseye on the weekend rain to start with, at least, is more in the south, which is good. The northeast is waterlogged and way too wet right now for some of those counties. And then into central South Dakota, where we flip the page and we have a different story. We still have dry conditions out here, especially west of Pier. You know, it's kind of a difference uh, depending on where you're at north or south from Pier 2. But at any rate, it looks like there will be some rain around this weekend. Again, primarily farther south you go, a little better shot. Black Hills, I would say some wet weather too. So Friday night into Saturday, and then it's off and on rain through at least next Tuesday. Find out more coverage online at Kettleland.com.